apps that don't take advantage of the full viewport of a device can look a bit outdated. Expanding your app to go edge to edge is a small change, but contributes a lot to a delightful look and feel of an app. To go edge to edge in a safe way, there are three steps. Request that your app be drawn behind system UI. Set up to receive the IMEE as insets. Consume the different insets appropriately. Step one, add enable edge to edge in activity on create to make this request to the Android system. This enables your app to be aware and in control of its insets. You can also define the status and navigation bar styling if you don't want to rely on the defaults. Step two, set window input mode to adjust resize in the Android manifest. This allows your app to receive the IMEE sizes as insets and lay out content appropriately when it shows or hides. Step three, consuming insets safely. Once your app is set up to handle insets, you can use Compose Inset APIs to ensure the content doesn't overlap with the system UI. Rule of thumb is expand your app to go edge to edge, but don't lay out important or interactable content behind system bars, gesture areas, and similar. To get the inset sizes, you can use higher level window insets that group a few to define a safe area, like safe content. Or you can use window insets directly that just return the size of a single inset. Once you have the inset sizes, you can either set the insets as padding to the composables or use inset sizes directly to define the width and height of the composables. For padding, you can use a low-level modifier, window insets padding, that takes an inset directly, or delegate this to high-level modifiers that are already predefined with inset sizes, like using a safe content padding for wrapping your entire screen. However, if you prefer to set the size of your composable to match an inset, you can use inset size modifiers. Here, we use the window inset top height to set the gradient header to match the status bar height. Nested insets communicate well with each other and are aware of size changes and consumptions. For example, the gradient footer is set to match the bottom height of the system bar. Its parent, a lazy list, is meant to pad its content when the IMEE pops up. Since the two insets communicate, when the IMEE shows, the gradient footer will disappear as it knows that the IMEE padding modifier has already consumed that space. When the IMEE disappears, the IMEE padding stops consuming, and the footer knows it can consume that space again. Insets are not always handled via modifiers. You can set insets as the content padding parameter of the lazy list. This will pad the entire column before the first and after the last item. But when scrolling, it will scroll edge to edge, past the bounds of the initial content padding. Many of the Material 3 components handle insets automatically, like app bars and sheets. But you can also easily override them to a preferred value. This will also set you up nicely for Android 15, where edge to edge will be enforced by default. Android 15 will set this cutout mode by default in Window Manager, forcing the app to display in the cutout area. You can then use cutout insets to pad the content accordingly. For more information on edge-to-edge -edge and insets in Compose, take a look at the documentation.